Welcome to our sit online. I'm Dr. Asha Vishwana, Assistant Professor in the Department of Civil Engineering. And in this lecture series, we'll be covering EST 100 Engineering Mechanics for first year students. Now, this is a series of lectures. So, in this first series, we will start with the module 5 dynamics. Now, Till now, we have looked into the principle of statics. Statics is the branch of engineering which deals with the action of forces on an object at rest. In this module onwards, we look at the action of forces on objects in motion. And this branch is called as dynamics. Now, dynamics has two branches, which is kinematics and kinetics. Now, kinematics is a branch of dynamics which deals with the effects of the forces acting on the object. Now, effects, by effects I mean the displacement, the velocity, the acceleration which is caused by the forces acting on the body. And kinetics is the branch of dynamics which deals with the forces acting on the body because of its motion. Now, these forces are the ones which cause motion in the object and kinetics deals with study of those forces. Now, when force acts on a body, it, uh, it does two things. One is translation and the other rotation. Now, in translation, there are two types which we will learn, which is rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion. This is based on the path traversed by the object once it is acted upon by a force. Now, in rectilinear motion, we again consider the kinetics and kinematics of uh, the uh, branch of dynamics and also the curvilinear part. Now, in this lecture, we will be covering the rectilinear motion and also looking at problems related to rectilinear motion. Rectilinear motion is the branch which deals with the motion of the body in a straight line. When the path of the body traversed is a straight line, we call it a rectilinear motion or it in other words, motion in a straight line. Now, kinematics is the first uh, part of this uh, rectilinear motion and we will study the effects of forces like displacement, velocity and acceleration. Now, when we do not consider the forces as such, that is when we refer it to kinematics. Now, displacements, velocity and acceleration, as you already recall, are terms which you have, which you are familiar with are the effects which is caused by a force acting on a body. Now displacement no, by the notation S, velocity by the notation V and acceleration by the notation A are all related in the following form. Displacement is related to velocity and the velocity related to acceleration by rate of change. Now you can see by the graphs which are shown that in a uniform velocity case, that is when a body undergoes equal displacements in equal intervals of time, we call it a uniform velocity motion. And if you look at the graphs of the displacement versus the time, the velocity versus the time, and the acceleration versus the time of this uniform velocity motion, we find that S versus T is a straight line, and velocity is a constant, while there is no acceleration. Similarly, Uniform acceleration cases are all those motions in which you have the displacement as a curve which is of first order and velocity is a straight line and acceleration is a constant line. Now when acceleration is constant we call it the uniform acceleration motion and when acceleration becomes a straight line velocity becomes a first order curve and, and the displacement a second order curve and hence it is this uniform acceleration case which we will be dealing with in the problems that we consider in this rectilinear motion. Now you already know that uniform acceleration, there are some kinematic equations which you will be uh, dealing with by solving problems of kinematics. That is the S is equal to T plus half a t square. V is equal to U plus AT. Now 
Now these equations are used only for uniform acceleration and when these uh, 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 these uh, displacement velocity and acceleration are used in the uniform velocity case, the acceleration term vanishes. So the uniform acceleration motion is what we will consider for the problems that we are going to look into. Now, with this, uh, we will go into the problem. Before that, there are two types of problems which we will be dealing with. That is, one is a horizontal motion, and the other, vertical. Now, by horizontal rectilinear motion, I mean a body subjected upon to force and accelerated to a distance. In this case, Either the, for, uh, either the body could be at rest, that is u is equal to 0, and moving on to a velocity uh, v and accelerating in between after a uh, elapse of time t. So we look at what are the accelerations caused, the velocities and the distance travelled by uh, such a body. This is horizontal motion. And vertical motion is when we consider motion under gravity. That is when you throw a, a ball up or any uh, substance which tra travels to a vertical distance. So in that, in those cases, we consider the acceleration as the acceleration of gravity, which is uh, denoted by g, and we consider g as negative when it when the object is thrown up because, as we know, that initially we give it an initial velocity with which we throw the uh, object up and it reaches the height at which it has lost all its velocity. So the acceleration is decreasing, that is it is decelerating and hence we consider the upward movement as minus g and the downward movement as plus g. Now let us see two 